All right, now that the bar's got a little weight on it, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna consider another way to breathe when we press. Most of the time, you're gonna take the bar out of the rack on a breath and press it so that the concentric phase of the movement is first done on one breath, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the last reps of the set happen like the squat does. We have the option of taking our breath for the last four reps at the top and not stopping on the shoulders for the last four reps. In other words, you're gonna do the first rep of this set of five as if the rep starts on the shoulders. And then the last four reps of the set of five, you're gonna do as if the rep starts at the top. You will rebound off of your armpit at the bottom of the last four reps. That way you get an eccentric, concentric with a stretch reflex, just like you do on the squat. It's not a long breath, it's a quick breath. You're just gonna, just like that. And it will make it easier to do the set. So let's try this. So right now, get your grip, take a great big breath, come out of the rack, don't exhale, set up, press. Good, big breath. Just exactly like that. The breath's at the top, three, four, five, good, excellent. And that's how it's done to try that same breathing trick, okay? Big breath, take it out, set up, go. Big breath. Get under it better than that, Aaron. Get under it, there you go, that's where you wanna be. All the way under it, last one, big shrug at the top, excellent, down. Good set. Okay, big breath right now, press it. Quick breath, bounce, two, good. Keep it closer to your face, three, four, and last one. That was about three times easier than the last set with 10 pounds less weight. And it's that breathing trick that made the difference. Big breath on the first one. Squeeze that thing into your wrist, squeeze it into your wrist so you shorten this distance here. There it is, good. Big breath, drive, exhale, bounce. Excellent. Three. Finish with that shrug. Nice press. A wider stance, a wider stance. Straighten out your knees. Good. Big giant breath. Good. Now breathe at the top. Just like that, straight knees every time, straight knees every time. Three. Good, and get under it, Katie. Good, had a little knee on that last one. A little tiny little push on that last one. Take that grip, squeeze that thing in real nice and tight. Okay, good. Lean back just a little bit. Big breath. Good, breathe at the top. Three, four, very nice sit. Rack. Big breath. Get under it better than that. Move under it, there it is, shrug. Shrug into the bar, good, last one. Good job, and then rack. Okay, Jim, let's go, strong. There's your breath, two. Excellent job, squeeze up under it, shrug up to the bar, shrug up under it. Real nice set. Now bring your elbows back in a little bit, pull them back under the bar. 
Okay, great big giant breath. Okay. Rebound out of the bottom. Big breath, bounce. There it is, three, much better. There it is. Keep it close to your face, Aaron. Good. Racket. Set of five. Nice and tight. Close to your face. Close to your shoulders. Good. Finish that squeeze at the top. Big breath. Good. Three. Four. Five. All right, Bob's got a belt on. The press benefits from a belt in the same way that squat does. It adds tightness to the trunk, protects the back in the case of a potential back injury, that sort of thing, and, and just helps with overall, overall tension that you can develop from intra-abdominal, intra-thoracic pressure, and that's real important in the, in the press. Okay, so crank it down. Let's get this set of five. Okay. Good. Breathe. There it is. Nice and close. And a straight bar path. Good. Finish that squeeze at the top. Four. Get under it. Squeeze it up. Good. Set. And rack it. Real nice job. Okay, let's see this. Get strong now, Kyle, come on. Keep it in close, keep it close to you. Get under it, don't leave that out in front. There it is. Get it! Let's get two more, come on. Get under the bar, close to your face. Okay, good. Nice try. What happened on that last one was the bar finally got heavy enough to where you couldn't control the lever arm. It got out in front about that far. You had been keeping them in nice and close, but on that last one, when it got heavy, you were unable to control that bar position. It got out in front of you. The lever arm increased to the point where there was too much leverage against the shoulder between the bar and the shoulder joint, and that's it just ground to a halt. And that's generally how you'll miss a heavy press, is by increasing the distance between bar and shoulder joint.